Don't want to show you this cool tool for testing uh, grip strength. It's called the dynamo meter. See, here it is. What's cool about this thing is not only are you testing your grip strength and uh, see how much force you're producing for, uh, per uh, kilogram, but your grip strength is also correlated to your central nervous system. So this is a real good tool to find out if you're overtraining. So uh, real quick, a thing about overtraining, uh, you, know, you see a lot of people talk about this like it's something that's real easy to do. My opinion is it's, it's pretty hard to legitimately overtrain, but what it really comes down to is under recovery. If, uh, if somebody's diet is really, really good and they're on supplements to fix any nutritional deficiencies that they might have, people can tolerate a pretty decent amount of volume and frequency. Uh, the problem is people's diets usually suck. They don't know anything about supplements. So if they do take supplements, they're taking supplements that suck. And uh, then it's, you know, they overtrain pretty easy. Their sleep quality sucks. All those things are going to make it very hard for you to do a lot of volume like you probably could be doing. But when it comes to athletes, this is where things get a little different. For instance, at the other end of the block, there's a jiu-jitsu school that I train at, Gracie Baja Jiu-Jitsu. And I have quite a few of those guys come over here and train with me in the weight room to get them stronger, fix structural imbalances, or get them conditioned uh, before a tournament. These guys sometimes, they'll be on the mat five, six times a week, and uh, then they'll be coming down here two, three times a week, and they're, they're the type of guys that uh, they think more is better, so sometimes you got to hold them back. So uh, a lot of times their diet's not that great either. Um, they don't know anything about nutrition, so if you, you know, if, if you fix that like you would with a regular person, they're going to be able to tolerate more volume too, but... I mean, even if their diet is really, really clean, even if they're taking good supplements that will help them recover, if, if you're spending that much time on the mat and in the weight room, sometimes it's still gonna happen. So you have to have some type of tangible information to find out if somebody's overtraining, not just based off their perception, of how, you know, if they, how they feel. So this, this is one awesome way to find that out, okay? So what you do with this, if your right hand uh, dominate, if your right hand stronger, you would hold this in your right hand, obviously, and you're going to get your right leg back, and you would start off with your arm in line with your head. And then you're going to bring your arm down to parallel to the floor or straight out from shoulder level. You should be at full strength squeezing this right when you get there. So that is, uh, I'm at about 50, 51 kilograms of force. Yesterday I was at 52, so it's pretty accurate. What you got to do with this thing first to find out whether or not you suspect that you need to cut back on their training volume, frequency, or maybe even you just send them home for the day. First, you have to get normative data. So you have to have your athletes use this pretty often, right in the very beginning before they train when they're fresh, and see where their norms are. So for instance, if, if my norm's 50, I'm hitting that pretty much every time I come in. Now I come in here and say I get 45, okay? I lost five kilograms of force. That's, that's not good. That, that means I'm probably overdoing it. So, you know, you can do a couple of things. You can deload, cut back on volume. You can cut back on your frequency. So if they're in here three times a week, perhaps you'd only want to train twice that week. Or if, you know, this is bad and, and they also look bad, you know, they're tired, they, they're telling you that they're, they're achy, maybe they're feeling nagging injuries. You might even just send them home, not even train them at all. The best thing they could probably do is just go home and eat, do nothing, take a nap, lay around, recover.